Hi everybody, it's October 13, 2017. Three days ago I got this. Hi Kafka Winston World. At YouTube we want to make our site great for creators and viewers all over the world. One of the ways we try and do this is by promoting or prohibiting, sorry, the use of unrelated or misleading tags. Your video, CNN, openly declares war on truth, was identified as violating this policy. And because of that, it has been locked as private. And it is so private that I can't even get to it. I violated their tag rule. Yes, it's the misleading metadata. Wow. Okay. Misleading metadata. Metadata refers to any and all additional information provided on a video. This includes the title, description, tags, annotations, and thumbnail. The reason we have metadata is so that you can add additional contextual information to your videos. Please do not use these features to game or trick our search algorithms. All metadata should be representative of the content contained in your video. Among other things, metadata added in an attempt to game search algorithms will lead to the removal of your video and a strike against your account. And guess what? I didn't violate that rule. They didn't like the fact that I said CNN openly declares war on truth and what I was showing was a video that was on another channel. Don't even want to mention the channel. They showing CNN, a meteorologist who was clearly lying about this so-called hurricane, which I can't even remember that hurricane's name, but it was headed towards Louisiana and Mississippi, and there he was with his satellite radar image of what no one would ever call a hurricane, and he then made this circle, and he said, this is where the eye would be would be, but it wasn't. And said the eye would be like to the west where you couldn't, there was no hurricane at all. And he said something, I don't know, how many miles per hour, like 140 miles per hour. And on the bottom of CNN, it said 18 miles per hour. 1984 the truth going down the memory hole. So I come home tonight and I get this. As you may know, our community guidelines describe which content we allow and don't allow on YouTube. Your video, new website, honor.info, honor truth network to counter, honor.com, honor network, Posner site. I was recommending a website, I don't know how long ago I posted this, probably two years ago, but Lenny Posner lives and breathes. And our videos die because Lenny is at it. Lenny and his team that go around flagging any video about Sandy Hook. Yeah, the truth down the memory hall. So, Big Daddy Google has grounded me for two weeks. Yeah, I'm punished for two weeks. I can't post any videos on my channel for two weeks. Oh yes, I violated their guidelines. Their arbitrary gu guidelines that you never know whether or not you're violating. Because now YouTube have has these uh, teams that go around flagging videos. Uh, and they can flag any video and get it pulled. And the team actually are made up of uh, these liberal, progressive, leftist communists. But not only me, but a whole lot of people. Let me just uh, 
play just a few seconds of Mark Dice. Media figures and to quote conspiracy theorists have been complaining for weeks that YouTube is already manipulating the algorithms to limit their reach and revenue. And guess what? When I clicked on this hyperlink, it's linked to one of my videos, the one that I did previously explaining how YouTube had locked one of my videos on private, exposing CNN, claiming that it was just misleading. Wow. So Mark Dice exposes CNN as misleading. I expose CNN for their lies, and we both get locked on private. Um, yeah, I will link below to James Alsop's video, YouTube is lying to us, censorship is here, China, China is here. You just put in YouTube censorship and you will see how many people, I mean, it just goes on and 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 on, but it's going to get worse and worse. Worse and worse. They have demonetized 95% of Diamond and Silk's videos. Why? Oh my God, they were Trump supporters. Um, this is, this is a statement of Google's, right? What Google's motto, do no evil, understand that everything that corporations, government officials, Google, these spokespersons for Google, when they come out with any kind of statement, just think the reverse of what they are saying and that will lead you to the truth. Google, part of building an open, inclusive environment means fostering a culture in which those with alternative views, including different political viewpoints, feel safe sharing their opinions. Yeah, right, Google. Uh, diversity of thought, no. They are pushing, they are pushing the cyber world, the digitized world, into what they want to be considered the truth. To shape people's minds. Um, I posted a video on this. Many people have posted a video on this. YouTube will censor non-rule-breaking content manipulate search results, and work with the Anti-Defamation League. Wow. Yes. So, um, this is a statement of, who, uh, of uh, YouTube's. We'll soon be applying tougher treatment to videos that aren't illegal, but have been flagged by users as potential violations. Potential violations of our policies on hate speech and violent extremism. If we find that these videos do not violate our policies but contain controversial religious or supremacist content, they will be placed in a limited state, kind of like private, in a limited state. But that could mean that your videos will be demonetized, you will not have key features, including comments, suggested videos, likes, and you may not be able to share those videos on other platforms. So how many of you guys have told me, hmm, you can't share my videos on Facebook? How many of you told me that you cannot like my videos? YouTube has rolled out a trusted flagger program in which 15 expert NGOs, non-governmental organizations, and when you hear NGO, think United Nations, but NGOs and institutions to help them identify hate speech and extremism on their platform, and they are recruiting flaggers to train them to identify hate speech and extremism 
and identify all speech that does not jive with the party platform with the official narrative. Among the organizations that are helping YouTube identify hate speech, hate speech and extremism is No Hate Speech Movement, a left-wing project pushed by the Council of Europe as well as the Anti-Defamation League, an organization whose president has been accused of manufacturing outrage by the World Jewish Congress. Yes, they're getting rid of the truth and promoting videos created via its Creators for Change program and they have an awful lot of workshops for young people to attend to be creators for change and that means that Google YouTube is training the young to use their voice and creativity to speak out against hate speech, xenophobia, and extremism. And what that means is they are indoctrinating the young teenagers to accept the official narrative as truth and get out there and flag those videos where people are actually speaking the truth. I want to read just a few quotes from 19... 84. Let's start with this. Similar slits existed in thousands or tens of thousands throughout the building, not only in every room, but at short intervals in every corridor. For some reason, they were nicknamed memory holes. When one knew that any document was due for destruction, or even when one saw a scrap of waste paper lying about, it was an automatic action to lift the flap of the nearest memory hole and drop it in, whereupon it would be whirled away on a current of warm air to the enormous furnaces which were hidden somewhere in the recesses of the building. Get rid of get rid of any information that the party does not accept. Burn it. Get rid of the truth. The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. And if all others accepted the lie which the party imposed, if all records told the same tale, then the lie passed into history and became truth. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. The choice for mankind lies between freedom and happiness, and for the great bulk of mankind, happiness is better. The party seeks power entirely for its own sake. We are not interested in the good of others. We are interested solely in power, pure power. Power is in tearing human minds to pieces and putting them together again in new shapes of our own choosing. The party seeks power entirely for its own sake. We are not interested in the good of others. We are interested solely in power. Power is not a means. It is an end. Not power over things, but over men. In our world, there will be no emotions except fear, rage, triumph, and self-abasement. There will be no loyalty except loyalty toward the party. There will be no love except the love of Big Brother. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot 
stamping on a human face forever. There will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. Lenny Posner and his team of bullies. The thrill of victory. Getting YouTube videos taken down. Anything about Sandy Hook. But realize this. Google. Google is like the Ministry of Truth that Winston Smith worked for 1984. If you've not read the book, read it. His job was to rewrite newspaper articles. It, it was, he rewrote history, making sure that history matched with the party line. The Ministry of Truth. Google. The only difference between 1984 and 2017 is that information now is digitized. Digitized. So we don't have slits where we can find a piece of paper and pick it up and put it down the memory hole to find its way to the furnace. We have delete, delete. We have limited states. But when you realize the power of Google, Google has already scanned 10 million books in its bid, bid to digitize the contents of the world's major libraries. When it has such control and power over the internet with its searches, when it puts at the top of the search results information that it wants out, and then, well, somewhere down the memory hall are those views that the leftist, progressive, communist don't want people to know, they go down the memory hole. But when you realize that now students, not college, but high school, junior high, and elementary, are carrying less and less books to school and now they learn off of computers because so much information has been digitized. When books are gone and the digitized library is filled with Google Books how easy it will be for Winston Smiths in the future to rewrite newspaper articles, magazine articles, textbooks, history books to ensure that whatever people read online matches the leftist progressive party line. That's where we're going and it's very sad.